Пошел один. Вы пидорасы кого взяли. Вы пидорасы, сука. А? Ублюдки, сука, э. Братишка, вот это сделал ему. German-made heavy armor pieces are rolling through the fields of Russia's Kursk region again, some 80 years since one of the biggest battles of World War II in the same area, Bild wrote, reporting on Kiev's cross-border incursion. The German tabloid, citing videos posted online, said that several martyr infantry fighting vehicles have been spotted among the equipment used by the Ukrainian military in its offensive. The news of German-made weapons being used in an attack on Russia's internationally recognized Russian territory has prompted a mixed reaction in Germany. The head of the German parliament's defense committee, Marcus Faber, stated he had no issues with the development. Any weapons handed over to Kiev cease to be German and become Ukrainian ones, he told the Funk Media Group. He also described the territory of both Ukraine and Russia as a war zone. Ukraine has the right to self-defense enshrined in international law, Germany's foreign ministry told Politico in a statement. This is not limited to its own territory. Many politicians in Germany's conservative opposition have provided even more full-throated support for the Ukrainian offensive and the use of German weapons on Russian territory. Rodrich Kieswetter, a senior lawmaker with the Christian Democrats, told Politico it's totally legitimate to strike staging areas inside Russia with weapons donated by Germany. The question of whether Western weapons are involved doesn't come up because, after they are delivered, they are Ukrainian weapons, said Kieswetter. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz has so far refrained from breaking away from his summer vacation to say anything about the incursion. Both Berlin and Washington shifted policy on hitting Russian territory in May in response to the Russian offensive against Ukraine's second city of Kharkiv. Ukraine has the right, guaranteed under international law, to defend itself against these attacks, a German government spokesperson said at the time. I response Deputy Chair of Security Council of Russian Federation Dmitry Medvedev wrote on X account, the German newspaper Bild has published a revanchist article where it proudly announces German tanks come back to the Russian land. In response, we're going to do everything to bring the newest Russian tanks to Platz D, Republic. Fighters of the main intelligence agency of Ukraine destroyed another speedboat belonging to the invading Russian army. The footage of the operation was released by the main intelligence agency. The Tunitz type speedboat exploded and was damaged as a result of the attack by the Magura V-5 Marine drone. As a result of the operation, three more floating vehicles belonging to the occupying army were damaged. The Russian military is now deploying fewer ships into the open waters of the Black Sea. This became possible thanks to the Ukrainian Magura surface drone, according to the representative of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine Yevon Yerin. According to him, thanks to the drones, the activity of the Russian forces in the open sea has decreased. As for the lack of good news, let's just say, watch, observe, and I think you will soon see something pleasant with Magura's participation, Yaren said.